Scooby Doo, where are you? It's just one of those cartoons that just nailed it. <laughs> I grew up on Scooby Doo. That's obvious to anyone. Grew up with Boomerang. Yeah, but you remember that? No, no, maybe Boomerang. I used to play all the old cartoons. Um, yeah, Scooby Doo, where are you? This animation, first of all, is bad, like really bad. But given the budget that they had, it's kind of surprising. It looked that good to begin with. <laughs> Um, and the premise was essentially the same as the updated version, What's New Scooby-Doo, only, well, Daphne didn't have a personality, Velma just went jinkies, jinkies all the time, Fred didn't really have a personality. And the standouts were, of course, Scooby-Doo and Shaggy, because, I mean, come on. It's Scooby-Doo and Shaggy. Of course, they're going to be the standouts. I mean, the show is Scooby-Doo, where are you, so... See... I do think what's new Scooby-Doo is better from the standpoint of... the characters, but as for the mysteries... I think Scooby Doo Where Are You did it better. Like, yeah. So, yeah. I hope that's not an unpopular opinion, but it is my opinion. I think What's New Scooby Doo had the its gang was better than Scooby Doo Where Are You, but Scooby Doo Where Are You had the better mysteries. Also, what new Scooby-Doo era of Scooby-Doo movies was iffy at best? Um, yeah, no. <laughs> no. Older Scooby-Doo movies were the best. And don't even get me started on those live-action ones. Ugh. But anyway, Scooby-Doo, where are you? laid the foundation of what Scooby-Doo's premise was, and really, I think I've, it's probably one of my favorite cartoons of all time, despite its flaws, and despite how many of the future series, the ones that came after it, did things better, like a lot better, like Daphne and Fred having a personality. I also, I found it hard to figure out how that whole, like, Fred and Daphne were in a relationship thing started off. Because <laughs> I went back through and watched, oh, scooby Doo, where are you? And I, I didn't really notice anything that hinted that they were. Honestly, I think Velma and Fred in the original show were better matched up because Velma was the one that always like explained everything, you know, this is what really was happening on. And Fred was the trap guy, I guess. But anyways, let's talk what I would give this. A three out of five thumbs up. Yes, I'm giving it a three out of five thumbs up, and I'm recommending it as well. If you haven't watched Scooby Doo, where are you? First of all, what was your childhood like? <laughs> uh, don't take that personally. It's just a joke. Second of all. 
watch it. Trust me, it's not going to be the greatest thing you've ever seen, but it's fun. And it actually teaches kids a lot of stuff. It makes kids smarter. So, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want, and bye!